I'm Cong Wu, assistant violist of the New York Philharmonic, and this is what's in my case. This is my viola, very beautiful, especially the back. It is made by a Chinese maker called Kai Mingguan in Beijing in 2005, the year I switched from the violin to the viola. So it is fairly young comparing to some of my colleagues' instruments, but it has a very beautiful sound with a lot of energy. We have shared so many concerts together, it helped me won all my school auditions, several international viola competitions, and most importantly, I won my New York Phil audition by playing on this instrument. The strings I use currently are the set of the Golden Pirazzi. They settle down really quickly, react easily, and project well on my viola. The resin I have used is this Andrea resin, which is called Sicilia since 2020. I have been taught by all my teachers that always rosin your bow carefully. My bow was made by a famous French maker called Nicolas Malin in 1860, a year before the American Civil War, which I find quite amazing. I like this bow very much because it's very balanced, very smooth, and very easy to play some soft passages while keeping the good sound quality. I really like my Diva viola case. It's very strong and protective without being too heavy. And my favorite part is this pocket at the back. So I can put my orchestral part, my chamber music part, and my iPad in this pocket. One of the accessories in my case I cannot live without are these sponges. Comparing to the shoulder rest, I find they give me more freedom while I'm playing. So I would use a rubber band and put the sponges at the back of my instrument. It makes my viola very free on my shoulder. So in the past years, I've played some successful concerts and auditions by just playing on this inexpensive but very nice instrument. Of course, it would be very lovely to play on those old Italian instruments. But I believe at the early stage of our career, it is more important that we could find something we are comfortable with and we are able to create some connection with. And also, it's more crucial that we would check our instrument regularly at shops and change our strings as it is needed. Whenever I play something difficult, I want to make sure I will start by practicing it very, very slowly. I want to make sure I know exactly how my body works, how my fingers work, like doing Tai Chi or yoga. For example, if I want to play the last movement of the Beethoven's String Quartet 59, number 3, I would start by practicing like this. in order to play like this. The second tip is that I would always learn the music, like study the score or listen to some recordings before I physically play the piece on my viola. 
It may cost more time at the beginning, but it will save me a lot of time overall and give me a much bigger picture of the music itself. I'm Chong Wu of the New York Philharmonic. Thank you for joining me, and this was What's in My Case. <laughs>